Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing on this MCQ which asks you about the MRI findings in case of intracranial hemorrhage. So in this particular question they are specifically asking you about a subdural hematoma. So what does, does this question ask? It is asking early subacute subdural hematoma which is 4 to 7 days old. What is the MRI finding in that? So whether uh, it is T1 hypo, T2 hypo, T1 hyper, T2 hypo. T1 hypo, T2 hyper and T1 iso or T2 hypo intense. So how would you solve such an MCQ? So uh, it is very difficult to remember you know T1 hypo and hyper iso. So there is a specific mnemonic which you can use to solve such an MCQ. So the answer to this particular question is T1 hyper intense and T2 hypo intense. So we will understand how we, you can arrive at uh, such an answer how you can solve this uh, MCQ so you can go through this table so here on the right uh, on the left side you have the clot age so the clot age can be hyper acute 4 to 6 hours acute early that is 7 to 72 hours it can be sub acute 4 to 7 days which is our MCQ 4 to 7 days sub acute then it can be late subacute that is 1 to 4 weeks or it can be early chronic that is weeks to months or it can be late chronic months to years so uh, so you have to remember this particular mnemonic which is in case of hyperacute it is eye bleed eye bleed is iso intense and on t1 and uh, bright that is hyper intense on t2 then you have i die i die in case of acute hematomas acute early hematomas that is 7 to 72 hours it is i die that is iso intense on t1 and dark or hypo intense on t2 then you have bleed die that is in case of subacute that is 4 to 7 days old hematoma in this t1 is bright and t2 is dark so bleed die then you come to bleed bleed so in case of late subacute hematomas you have t1 image which is bright and t2 image which is also bright so bleed bleed then we come on to early chronic hematomas in this you have bleed bleed again t1 is bright and t2 is also bright then you come to late chronic hematomas they they have this mnemonic which is die die that means dark dark so late chronic hematomas you will have t1 hypo intense and t2 also hypo intense so you can go through the explanation also by pausing this video so uh, it is just for your satisfaction but otherwise i don't think uh, anybody will be able to remember the explanation as it is so you have to rely on this mnemonic which is i bleed i die bleed die bleed 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 and die die i'll repeat again hyper acute that is 4 to 6 hours you will have eye bleed in acute that is 7 to 72 hours you will have eye die in subacute 4 to 7 uh, days you will have bleed die in late subacute and early chronic you will have bleed bleed that is bright bright and in late chronic that is months to year you have dark dark that is die die so hope you will uh, be able to solve such MCQs and you will not only get subdural hematomas you can get intracranial or brain parenchymal hematomas or you can get, you can get uh, uh, epidural hematomas so all those images you can get and you'll, you should be able to uh, solve such a MCQ uh, when MRI image is given. Here is uh, one another example which is showing a subdural hematoma uh, of the right side and uh, it, this is a T1 image it is showing a bright signal in T1 image and it is also showing a bright signal in T2 image so bright bright that is bleed bleed 
so probably this is what kind of a hematoma can you think of it yeah so it is a late subacute that is 1 to 4 weeks that is bright bright so this is another example that we went through so again you can go through this that particular uh, table by rewinding this video and try to remember it